this year is an artist who works well with her talent and her passion for her Hispanic heritage. Let's meet Gladys Roldan de Moraz. Cowgirl Hall of Fame honoree, Gladys Roldan de Moras. Gladys Roldan de Moras is an internationally acclaimed artist who draws inspiration from her national and family heritage, weaving her identity into every stroke, creating art that resonates with audiences worldwide. Born in Monterey, Mexico, Gladys was raised by her parents and grandmother. Her grandfather, Acharo, was part of a group who worked toward declaring charria the national sport of Mexico. She was drawn to art at a young age, visiting her uncle's art studio and going to museums. Her appreciation and respect for both charriada and art came together to fuel her artistic vision. While she paints many subjects such as bullfighters, landscapes, and still life, charria has her heart and has become a driving force in her artistic mission. Gladys, her husband and first child moved to the United States when she was a young adult to pursue a biology degree. She continued to paint, selling occasionally, and eventually embraced her painting talent full time. The family moved from Austin to San Antonio, Texas, and soon welcomed two more children. Roldan de Moras has now made a name for herself in the Western art world, capturing her Hispanic heritage with a glowing color palette and deft control of light. Her passion for portraying women in their traditional attire is evident in her depictions of breathtaking parroches from the Mexican state of Veracruz, charming Chinas Poblamas from Pueblo, Mexico, and impassioned flamenco dancers from Andalusia. She has composed many pieces based on the Escaramuzas Chavez, the feminine element of charria. Riding side saddle, these women perform tightly synchronized, fast-paced drills. Gladys masterfully depicts these strong athletes, their intricate regalia, and incredible horsemanship skills, capturing their speed and movement. Now a world-renowned international artist, Roldan de Moras has earned a multitude of prestigious awards. Among her recent accolades are the 2023 Frederick Remington Painting Award at the 51st Prix de West, held at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. The 2022 Patron's Choice Award at the Idle George Museum's Quest for the West Art Show at Sale and the 2021 Sam Houston Award for Best in Show Painting at the Briscoe Western Art Museum. Her work graces numerous private and public collections and has been featured in publications such as Fine Art Connoisseur, Art of the West, Southwest Art Magazine, American Western Art Collector, and Western Art and Architecture. Her dedication to her craft extends beyond her artwork she is also a devoted mentor and teacher. Shaping the future of Western art. Roldan de Moras has emerged as a cultural ambassador, bridging the gap between tradition and modernism. Her ability to infuse her Hispanic heritage into every stroke of her brush Preserving these traditions solidifies the importance of her work in their representation. In fact, she cannot pay fast enough to meet the demands of her galleries and collectors. As she continues to illuminate the art world with her passion and creativity, Gladys remains a testament to the power of art to connect, inspire, and transcend boundaries. Inspired, we are pleased to induct Gladys Roldan de Moras into the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame.
thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you overwhelmed with a profound sense of gratitude, awe, and honor as I am inducted into the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame. Words alone cannot express my deep appreciation. Growing up in Monterrey, Mexico, I never imagined that one day I would have the opportunity to carry on my grandfather Ernesto's passion and love of Chaveria through my own work in this great nation I am proud to now call home. In the 1930s, he had helped make Chaveria the national sport of Mexico. Some time ago, after years of studying the technique of painting, I found myself still searching for my voice in art. It was during this period that a friend offered me his advice. He said, you should paint what you love. And so I am fortunate to live in beautiful San Antonio, one of 18 states in the US with a thriving Charro community. During a visit to a local lienzo, I was immediately overcome with emotion. I knew I had found my voice, la charreria. I then, realized, I then realized that as an artist, I had the unique opportunity to shine a spotlight not only on the Mexican charro and vaquero, but on the escaramuza, proud descendants of the Adelitas, particularly considering their significance in the history of the West. I want to thank my husband, Rafael, my rock, my support, my constant encourager. I would not be here if it wasn't for you. Thank you. To my children, Rafael, David, and Annie, you are the wind beneath my wings. And I thank you for putting up with an artist mother all your life. <laughs> I thank my mother, Evangelina, who is here today and, though, and through whom the love of the West was passed on to me. She will always be a true cowgirl. I am grateful to my dear friends, family, students, colleagues, teachers, and mentors, especially one today. I would like to acknowledge one of my very first teachers, Ms. Janice Yao Hines. Thank you, Janice, wherever you are. Thank you. Never thought we would get here in my wildest dreams. I especially thank the galleries, the museums, and the collectors for believing in me and letting me share my heritage. This has been a beautiful, beautiful journey. I'm not done yet, but it's been beautiful. My sincere gratitude to all cowgirls, damas charras, and the escaramuzas I have had the privilege to paint. It has been an honor to let your voices be known and help create an important place for you, not only in Western art, but in the history of, West, of the West. To Ms. Carla Murillo, who is here with, his, with her husband, Victor Galan, Galvan, thank you uh, for being here representing the, the great group of Charles of San Antonio. You're somewhere out there. Thank you. Thank you. My deepest thanks to the National Cowgirl, Cowgirl Hall of Fame and to the nominating and selection committees for considering my work worthy of this distinction. I am honored and blessed to stand on the shoulders of you, past and present inductees and honorees, and I promise to uphold the legacy of the Cowgirl with pride and unwavering dedication. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.